Hello, I'm Scott Nygaard, a senior editor for Acoustic Guitar, here to demonstrate the musical examples in Acoustic Guitar's 20th anniversary lesson on Django Reinhardt. Django was not only one of the first true acoustic guitar virtuosos, his playing spawned an entire subgenre of jazz, gypsy jazz, that is still vibrant today. He brought a flamboyance, power, and sense of style to the guitar that is still inspirational to the guitarists of all stripes. Many of Django's techniques have become standard fare, including the use of octaves to reinforce a melody, as in example one. <laughs> And I'll play that a little bit slower. Django was also fond of aggressive displays of speed, like the triplet run in example two. One, two, three, four. I'll slow that down a little bit. Django often used diminished chord arpeggios, such as the one that begins example three. By playing a diminished arpeggio that began a half step above the root of a dominant seven chord, he created a seven flat nine chord, which became a common and harmonic choice in bebop. In example three, the B flat diminished arpeggio creates an A seven flat nine run, leading to the D minor arpeggio in the second bar. <laughs> I'll play that one a little bit slower. While Django loved minor keys, he was equally expressive on major key swing progressions. Example four shows another favorite device of his, long fluid melodic lines created by embellishing the notes of triads with notes above and below the chord tones. Let me play that a little bit slower now. When he wasn't soloing, Reinhardt's guitar aggressively pushed and prodded the rhythm, adding flamboyant accents such as this one in example five. One, two, three, four, one. I'll try that just a little bit slower. Three, four, one. You can see the sheet music for these examples and my accompanying article about Django Reinhardt online at AcousticGuitar.com or in the February 2010 issue of Acoustic Guitar. Thanks for listening. I'm Scott Nygaard.